My name is Meredith. I'm in second grade, and I have a brother with Down syndrome. It's when somebody has an extra chromosome and one more than we usually have. We all have chromosomes in our body, and these chromosomes are made up of hundreds of genes. These genes are our body's instructions for what makes us who we are. Our genes determine whether we get blue eyes, brown eyes, straight hair, curly hair, like how tall we are, short we are. Most of us have 46 chromosomes that are in pairs. Someone with Down syndrome has 47 chromosomes because they have a third copy of the 21st chromosome. It's not a disease. You can't catch it. He's not even that different. He just has one extra chromosome. So the extra chromosome affects their whole bodies, and they're always going to have it. It might affect them physically the way they appear. They might have almond-shaped eyes or be a little shorter than other kids their age. They often have low muscle tone, so it might take them a little longer to walk or run or learn to ride a bike, but they still can do it. People with Down syndrome can do anything that the rest of us can do. They can go to school and be in the same class as us, play sports, a musical instrument, run a marathon, go to college, work, and get married. They are like every other kid. They love to play and be silly. <laughs> make fun games with their friends and, and make friends and keep friends. My name is Keegan. I like to hang out with my friends at school. Here are some ideas of how to make friends with someone who has Down syndrome. Just start by introducing yourself and just getting to know the person. Ask them their name or like ask them their favorite thing. You just say hi or say hello or be friends with them. Or just say, can I be your friend? Invite them to sit with you at lunch or play at recess. Compliment them, give them a high five. Find something you have in common. Offer to help them with something. Cheer them on, encourage them. I want to spend time with my friends and my family. And for the camo guy. It's so fuzzy. <laughs> Testing, testing. Go up to them like you would any other kid. See what they're playing with. Ask to play with them, or you can ask them to join you and play. If you both like to play with blocks, maybe you can play with blocks together. I usually like to, during recess last year, we would sometimes dance together, and then we would play tag. In the long run, you're going to benefit from that relationship even more, because you're going to see how important it is, how you treat others, and how they treat you. Just like accept that they're different, but it's a good difference. What makes us different makes us beautiful. We should include kids that aren't like us because they still want friends in their life. It's really important to have friends and to be a good friend, and that's what inclusion is. Don't leave people out because you don't know them. Be kind and include people because it's the right thing to do. They are more like than different. You can't fix it and you wouldn't want to. We celebrate World Down Syndrome Day on March 21st. You can celebrate with us. You can wear crazy fun pattern mismatched socks. We rock our socks on World Down Syndrome Day. Will you rock your socks with us? 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 Will you rock your socks with me? To celebrate acceptance. To celebrate inclusion. Thank you.